Pam Yonke and the WTDY Radio Suite. How are things looking for you? But better, better than that. I'm a little surprised. I would have thought that uh, Dow Jones would be uh, just like commodities, lightly traded, light volume, but apparently a lot of optimism, at least as far as my grain trade's concerned, Mark. Livestock's also been moving pretty well in this holiday abbreviated week around the state. Now, remember, uh, I say holiday abbreviated, but I told you yesterday that we had marketings on Monday. This is the latest from yesterday's sales around southern Wisconsin equity sales barns. Finished beef steers and heifers holding firm. Uh, 108 to 110, topping at a dollar 28 per pound. Holstein steers a dollar to a dollar 18. Cows nice and steady, 52 to 78 cents pound. Holstein bull calves, no surprise there, going up to 165. Those heifers are also going up to about 190. Colored beef calves in southern Wisconsin this week up to 220. So livestock's holding its own on the cash market. The grain trade in Chicago, corn, soybeans, and wheat are now all trading up. The dry weather concerns that we're hearing about in Argentina and southern Brazil have got the attention of the marketplace. But again, I, I got to remind you, these numbers can change so quickly. If somebody sneezes down in Chicago, uh, there's so few people down there, it can really rattle the market pretty quickly. But still, if farmers are finding opportunity to forward contract on their 2012 uh, cropping season, it's a, it's a good week to be doing some of that work. I know a lot of crop insurance providers working through these numbers with their growers. Dairy is also up on the midday. Class 3 cheese milk has been having a good week so far as far as dairy product prices are concerned. Uh, no numbers again for you on a Wednesday, but we've got to go with the assumption that barrel and block cheese and AA butter are probably unchanged. I took a look at the historicals, and we haven't seen any movement on any of those prices since the 22nd of December. So I'm thinking, Mark, that maybe those dairy traders, and there's only a handful of them left, probably got together and decided that they were all going to take an extended break. So I'm not sure how much activity we'll see this week for cheese or butter prices in general but sometimes no action is better than action at all so yeah it sounds like the, keep an eye. it sounds like the commodity pits are sort of like the newsroom here not a lot of folks around this week <laughs> that's right <laughs> that's very true same thing over here in the radio shed yep you can uh, you can hear the echoes yeah all right well we'll see you tomorrow all right